Hi everybody, my name is Mike Dorfman. I'm the founder and CEO of Trick Drums and we're here to talk about the uh, Pro 1V bass drum pedals. These are a very unique product in terms of, uh, of bass drum product technology. We've really designed this pedal, uh, completely redesigned it actually from the ground up uh, using the finest materials possible, all billet construction uh, and all CNC precision machine components. We have a lot of really unique usable features for you as the drummer, which will translate into easier setup, easier adjustment, easier teardown, and just overall ease of use, plus our increased durability and, uh, and longevity. We'll start with some of, the, some of the features here. On the Pro 1V, you have what we call our slide track hoop adjustment, which simply by loosening these three screws, this whole mechanism here will slide. What this will let you do when you first get your pedal is put it on the hoop and adjust it so that all of your moving linkage will come up as close to the, the drum head as possible but without touching. That What you want there is so that the beater travels as little over center as possible. This'll, <coughs> this is more of the sweet spot of the pedal. So now once you've established that distance you can lock this back down so every time you put the pedal on your drum you open this clamp which is spring loaded you'll slide the pedal onto the hoop, and once the hoop contacts this, this portion of the pedal here, it acts like a memory lock. So you no longer have to get down on your hands and knees and, and fiddle with the, uh, the distance between the pedal and the drum. It's already locked in for you. And at the end of the night or when you have to move the pedal, you simply open this, this clamp here, take the, the bass drum away, pick up your pedal and go. It makes for a lot, a lot easier, easier time on the gig. Uh, Pro 1V pedals, our direct drive and on this particular model you'll see you have three positions of stroke length adjustment. By removing this pin which every all the adjustments operate off of a drum key you can change your stroke length. The bottom position is the longest stroke which will give you the most power. As you move up the stroke gets shorter but the power is reduced but the pedal will get actually faster. So depending upon your playing style you can really tailor this pedal to, to suit that by, by moving that. Another adjustment is here where you have an independent footboard angle adjustment and that's all simply done by loosening a drum key. Next to that you have your independent beater angle adjustment. So any, anywhere you want to put it you can do that simply by loosening that screw and adjusting it. You'll notice on the top of the pedal here there's a machine mark that's in the, into the tower. That's what we call our zero point. And all that is is a, is a place that never moves, so you can reference these numbers and this arrow. So if you should use different setups for different styles of music, or if the pedal should move in transit or something like that, you can easily recall what setting you prefer for, like I said, uh, specific styles of music, or just, you know, it moved on accident or something like that. You can, you know, really quickly recall the setting. The unique part about this pedal over and above everything else is that we use what's called a compression spring. Most people are familiar with the side mounted spring which is called an extension spring. This is a, a more efficient spring technology and what's really unique about it is when pedal goes forward the beater hits the head. As the beater comes back and all this weight is transferring back towards your leg the spring is actually recompressing. And what it's doing is it's slowing down all of this motion and all of this weight that's coming back towards your leg. But at the same time, you see the spring is recompressed. The spring is actually now pushing the beater forward. So it slows the backstroke down and assists on, on the forward stroke by the, by the spring kind of giving it a, a launch. Very unique design and, and one of the key components as to why this pedal is so wonderful. As far as adjusting your spring pressure, <laughs> that's really the simple part. You just turn this knob, which is conveniently located right here on the tower. Turn it to the right to tighten it, left to loosen it. It's, it's just that simple. So no longer do you have to uh, mess around with the, the old ways of adjusting spring pressure. The beater on here is also uh, very unique. It's uh, extremely light, 2.3 ounces. It's a titanium shaft, but the beater head is telescoping and it has infinite adjustability here as far as getting the, the beater head squared up to your drum head. 
Also, by doing this here, you have flexibility in terms of whatever size diameter bass drum you might play. So if, you need a, if you're playing an 18, you might put it down here. If you're playing a 24 or 26, you might put it at the top. Another thing that having the telescoping head allows you to do is to add weight. If you really need more weight, then you can put the weight at the very top, which will make the beater feel the heaviest because it's at the highest point. Another unique feature is that it has interchangeable faces. You have an aluminum face here on the beater itself. You have a Delrin face. And then it also comes with a self-adhesive felt, which will also uh, attach to the Delrin if that's, if that's what you'd like to do. Just new this, this year, actually just now, is we offer the Pro 1V in a chain drive. Um, the pedal can be ordered as a chain drive. Or if you're someone who bought a direct drive pedal in the past and says, gosh, I really wonder what the, the chain drive feels like, you can buy just the chain drive hub, which you remove this pin, take off this, this cam, install this cam, and you have a chain drive. It takes about 30 seconds, and you have the, the best of both worlds or a different feel for a different style of music. Uh, another unique thing about the trick pedals is that when you buy a double pedal, you'll actually receive two working independent single pedals that you'll join together with uh, your drive shaft and a hub assembly. The beater hub assembly will just thread right into this side of the tower and you'll move over your beater from the other pedal, put it into there, and you have a double pedal. Joined together with your trick drive shaft which has ultimate flexibility in the universal joints. They're completely fluid, but there's no, there's no wobble in them. There's no backlash. So this really gives you a rock solid feel from one pedal to the other. And being that you have two active pedals, it's really going to feel a lot more consistent from pedal to pedal, meaning more like you're playing two bass drums, where it really feels more natural. Um, for those of you out there that, that play another brand of pedal, but maybe lost your drive shaft or it, it broke on you. We also make this drive shaft with this technology and these universal joints for your pedal, for all major brands of pedal. You'll get the, the Trick 5.0 design that'll fit onto any, any major uh, manufacturer's brand of pedal. The Pro 1V comes in two, in two different models. You have a traditional, what we call a shortboard pedal, which is a heel block and a, and a footboard. 10 inch footboard, 3 inch heel block. Another version is the Bigfoot, which is a one piece footboard, which is 13 inches overall. This is a, a very popular uh, pedal platform for people who like the heel toe method and also just like more real estate to, to explore on the, on the bass drum pedal. Very, very popular uh, item for Trick. Uh, all hinged on, on roller bearings as well. This is actually a solid one piece plate, a lot of solid material. This is not a die cast, so this should last uh, beyond uh, anyone's wildest expectations. Thanks so much for taking the time to learn about Trick pedals. If you have any further questions about Trick, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer.